Here is one tip to counter every defender in Rainbow Six Siege. Let's try to hit 1200 likes on this video. Now to counter smoke, you can't really do counter is smoke grenades, but what you can do is try to put yourself in a position where it doesn't become advantageous. So try not to force your attacks to the last 30 seconds of the round, but smoke always comes with a shield. So he's always gonna be playing behind his shield. Take out his shield, make him kind of a bit more vulnerable target, take your distance with him and then you'll be able to deal with the smoke a lot easier. That's how you counter him. Now to counter mute, what you can do is actually with a new mute nerf, he can only jam in a certain radius. So if you actually put your thermite charge a little bit higher above, you can open up the entire wall. Unless you a little bit muted over here. Try a little bit higher. About right here. But now you'll be able to thermite the wall open. You don't need no hard breacher or uh, any thermite thatcher, but that's really, really easy to do if you are on low on time, your teammates are not working for you to counter mute. Now to counter pulse, you want to bring IQ and you can actually see him through the floor. This is actually a pretty common take, but when you see him through the floor a lot and, and you're able to shoot him through the floor and it's a really good way to catch him off guard because he can't pull a C4 out, he can't pull a gun out, but this is a good way to scare off a pulse and he won't use a scanner as much. You might as well find yourself a free kill. Now, to counter castle is actually pretty easy, um, as you might think. It's just really just destroy his barricades. A lot of the time, people put castle barricades and they feel safe. But when you open up the castle barricades, even if you're not even on that window, if you have an extra breaching charge or maybe extra gone six, feel afraid to open it up and they are constantly watching their window. They're not going to feel as safe as they did before. But get in the habit of understanding when you should use ghost pressure. Ghost pressure is basically when... You know, there's a part of the map that's open, but you're not there just to pressure your enemy a little bit more. For Rook and Doc, we're just going to use this option for a lot of operators to shoot them in the head. That's it. Same thing for Capkin. All you have to do is just drone out the, uh, the Capkin traps on the floor or on the doorways foot level and then shoot them in the head. Now, Chonka is a little bit different. I will say that you see similar to Smoke, take out his shield. Chonka is normally going to be in sight denying entryways. So try to figure out your plan fast before he flames you off. Now to counter Jaeger, it would really just be burn his ADSs and coordinate with your team. A lot of mistakes people would do is throw grenades just randomly and it gets caught in the ADS. But if there's a shield or anything right there, good teams are going to coordinate their utility. So what you want to do is make sure that you coordinate the grenades and the, the burn that way. It'd be a lot easier but when you get in the habit of that jaeger just becomes another obstacle that you just have to clear so the next time you know you're going against a jaeger uh that's putting a lot of adis somewhere bring flashbangs uh stun grenades as well is also really good for on zofia now if you're going up against a bandit and he's tricking and all that kind of stuff there's a few things you can do if you're trying to trick the wall you can go vertically under the bandit um you can also use zofia to zofia stun it will take him off the bandit charge when you time it right um, but also with Thatcher, it's a little bit trickier, uh, trickier with EMP grenades and all kind of stuff. But going below the Bandit is most likely the most effective way. Throwing a grenade. But Bandit is a person sitting still when he's putting his band charges down. So he becomes a very vulnerable person. But going vertical is probably one of the best things that you can do. Or throw a grenade from the window. Now to counter Frost. And Frost is this is kind of a habit you want to put into a good player. But just get in the habit of looking down before you go in. If you do this all the time, you might hit a lesion mine, frost mask most of the time, but get this in the habit. That way you don't accidentally die on time because you're not looking at the floor, but get used to looking before you go down. Now to counter Valkyrie is very, very simple. Just like Pulse, just bring IQ. IQ is the hard counter to Valkyrie and you'll be able to get the cams from below and through the walls. And you can actually, in the new update, you can actually ping the Valk cams. This will help your teammates know exactly where you're talking about if you don't know a lot of callouts but bring IQ, she's very, very useful. Now to counter Cav would really just be to make sure to drone yourself out. Keep your distance with her. Do not go roam or roam clear by yourself in case you get interrogated, but to pick a buddy with you, try not to roam, uh, roam clear too much, but shoot her in the head, that's basically it. All right, now to counter Echo is a little bit similar to Smoke. He's more of an anchor style operator, but Echo is strong during the end parts of the uh, the uh, plant phase so most of the time don't worry about killing him but instead look for his yokais so before i go for a plant i'm gonna want to look for any nearby yokais that i can find under a desk maybe on the ceiling before i go for the plant but that's what you want to look out for and then you go 
for plants safely because you know there's no more yokais available. By the time you get the bomb down, then you'll be able to find Echo deep inside somewhere. But get in the habit of trying to understand how many yokais are left before you go for a plant. Otherwise, IQ is also very good for tracking his devices as well. All right, now to counter Mira, one, there's a few things you can do. I would say either you would go up to and punch the Mira, but if you can't have that option, just use two Habana pellets or an Ace Charge, throw it down there, and you'll be able to get the Mira popped open very, very easily. Otherwise, try to go vertical, but mirrors are very easy to deal with nowadays. Now, to counter Legion would really be the same thing as Capkin. Just watch your feet for the mines. They're very, very easy to see if you were looking for them, but shoot him in the head. And then moving on to Ella, it's basically the same thing, but sometimes Ella mines, you can't really avoid them. But just try to get your timing right of when an Ella mine goes off. You know, she, there's not really much to counter her, but just shoot her, shoot her in the head. So to counter a Vigil would really just to be, and if he's in a certain area, the more closer he is, the more fuzzy it gets. So what I would do, uh, the time's a little going a little slow here, but what you would want to do is try to eventually cut him off. Wherever he is, cut off his entrance points, cut off his con, I would cut off his CC. But that really just gives you an area of really cornering him and that way you're able to take on a 2v1 fight rather than taking him head on. But this comes down to the same thing, shoot Vigil in the head. Alright now to counter Maestro, it would really just be similar to Echo. You want to take out the Maestro cams kind of as soon as you can as a priority before the plant. But plan ahead of bringing a Gon6 extra utility to help burn. Be careful Jaeger AD, uh, ADS though once you clear those then you can go ahead and clear the Maesher cams before you go in for the plant. And then boom. Now to counter an alibi would just really just be shooter in the head. Obviously people are going to play it a little more aggressive, so expect an aggressive player, but shoot alibi in the head. <laughs> just nothing else. Now to counter clash would be to pair up Zofia with another attacker. And when you Zof stun her, then her shield will go off for the left a little bit. That's when you have time to shoot her leg. It doesn't take very long, and uh, go and stun him real quick. If you go up against a Clash in a 1v1, it should be easier than going up against someone with literally like their hands tied behind their back. They cannot do anything. So even if she's stunning me, go ahead and stun me again. All you have to do is just get up close. You'll lose a little bit of HP, but go up and punch her shield and aim for her leg. When you aim for the leg, that way it will just be very, very easy. You don't have to worry about like a Monty. That's why clash is very very easy to deal with and you want to try to close the distance with her now one tip you could do to counter Cade, uh, especially on club is my favorite one but if you put a habana charge the corner of the Cade hatch Cade hatch then you're able to actually get rid of the Cade. now this might not work for some other hatches but if you do this then you can get rid of the k claw and easily go for the hatch after that try this on your next time you play on clubhouse all right now when encountering a mozzie pest most of the time if you see the pest, then you want to be a little bit more careful. Now, if you want to know what side it's on, if you put your drone close enough, you can hear how how loud it's turning. So obviously it's on the right side. So if it's on the right side, then you might be able to try and shoot it off. But obviously it's a little bit risky because you're exposing your body. But what I would recommend doing is either just know if you need to sacrifice your drone and just take a one for one, but you don't want to waste time. Otherwise, try to find a different way to reroute your mozzie pest. For example, I can't do it through this door. I would take it through the window. Maybe another drone hole somewhere around here. Um, but mozzie is one of those things. He's a very strong opera. That's why he's really, really strong. I would recommend that you just try to find another route or to sacrifice your drone for a one for one and then re-drone from there. Now, next up, we have Warden. And to counter Warden, would honestly just be shooting him in the head again. Um, he's just a dude with a gun. Now, to counter Goyo. Goyo nowadays is a little bit different from the shields, if you remember. But they are now just gas canisters that create fire onto um, the shield. But what I would say is treat Goyo canisters almost like a Maester cam or like a PZ utility that you have to clear before. What you can do, it's really, really easy to just clear it with a freaking nade. You can use a shock drone if you would want to, but as long as you're just trying to find it, get creative with shooting the holes, then you'll be fine. But avoid going into Goyo's the last 30 seconds like we talked about with Echo and Smoke. But uh, find ways to clear these as soon as possible. Now to counter Wamai is exactly the same as Jaeger, but I would say, but one thing about Wamai, you can actually kind of try to shoot his dicks, uh, his dicks, his discs sometimes. Um, sometimes you might be able to shoot from the floor, wall bang him. 
but do the same thing just try to wall bay or burn the ads as much as you can try to count out how many then you would just clear the shield but like i said come make sure you combine your utility fast before he can regenerate uh different discs over time now to counter Oryx, he's just another dude that's shooting the head, but if he's roaming and dashing everywhere, just treat him as like a caviar or vigil, uh, pin him down as a roamer, keep a drone in front of him, and cut off his entrance points. Otherwise, he's just going to keep running around, you just kind of have to try to keep a mental eye on him and uh, watch your hatches behind you. Now to counter Malusi, Malusi is the same exact thing as Goyo and Maestro, is one of those pieces of utility you want to try to clear before you go for a plant or flooding site. Because it's going to be really annoying if you're trying to do this and that thing's constantly going around your head. It's going to give sound and you're going to be impaired by movement. But if you can, always try to walk up in, in a safe spot from the Malusi gadget and you might be able to pop it really early. But do not let a Malusi Banshee go off for more than like three seconds sometimes because then, you know, you're just at a disadvantage. Just turn quickly, tap it one time, and then keep your crosser up. But... Most of the time, people will put Banshees in hard spots. That way it gets a crosser off. That way they'll be able to swing you. Try to clear them early. If not, you're going to have to take the risk of make sure you shoot it as fast as you can while safely, of course. Now, to counter a Rooney is really, really simple. Just throw a flashbang and throw something at it. But I would say, though, um, Rooney gates obviously can be, uh, they can be reopened and closed if they get our shot. But what I would say is... Be smart with the utility. Do not, do not give them that value of throwing your drone, throwing a grenade. Sometimes I would probably use your drone before your grenades, um, but use flashbangs, anything that's kind of like low, low utility. Um, but don't be afraid to just walk through the Rooney gate sometimes. But Rooney is very straightforward. All she really is is a kind of like a Jaeger. Just clear the her stuff and you'll be fine. And now to kind of Thunderbird, I mean to shoot her in the head. Can't do much about it. Now, Thorn is very similar to, um, I would say, Ella. I mean, there's going to be times where you can't really destroy it. Try to use a shock drone if you can or IQ. Otherwise, you're just going to have to try and shoot it right as you walk into it. But be careful with it. Try to really drone take your time joining them out like Capkin. Now, to counter a zombie, I would say that it's the same thing as Mace, like other people, is you want to clear these before you start your take. Um, no matter what it is, you know, be smart with the utility. Uh, careful with Mai or Jaeger. But most of the time, they're not going to have them on the zombie gate. Just you clear these as much as you can. Um, obviously, you don't clear them if they're not doing anything to you if no one's behind it. But these are just power positions for the defenders. Use Zofia, grenades, just gun sticks. Just get rid of it. That way, a zombie just becomes someone just with a gun. And it's very, very easy to uh, deal with it. But the more zombie gates that are up, the harder it's going to be to you to try to line up an angle. Um, but keep your keep your distance, you know, because obviously our zombie gates are meant to make you uncomfortable in certain ways. So clear them out as much as you can. Don't be afraid to use a grenade or you're gone six. And that is one tip for every defender in Rainbow Six Siege. If you guys have one that I missed, put it in the comments below and let's try to hit 1200 likes on this video. But I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day.